Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. Today's class is an hour long. We'll be working the whole body, but focusing a lot on the shoulders and opening through the chest. If you're tighter in that area, you may wanna find a strap or something that can work as a strap, like a towel or a t-shirt. All classes are donation-based. You can find out how to donate just below the video. Also check out the links to my 30-day yoga challenge and 30 days to splits challenge. There's a $10 off coupon linked below as well. I hope you enjoy class. We'll get started on our backs today. If you have a block, grab it. We'll take supported bridge. If not, come flat onto the earth. Lean back. If you're taking supported bridge, plant your feet. Crawl your heels in towards your glutes. Keep your gaze on the ceiling. Lift your hips to the sky. Slide your block underneath your sacrum, your low back, just above your tailbone. Rest the entire weight of your hips onto your block. It should feel pretty good. If it doesn't feel good, try sliding your block closer to your heels or let go of your block entirely. Find a comfortable placement for your hands, maybe on your hips, wide at your sides, or extended up overhead. Close your eyes. Take a breath in through your nose. Feel your low belly rise, your mid belly, then your chest. Hold at the top. Exhale out through your mouth in reverse order. So your chest drops, your mid belly, then your low belly. Three more like that. Breath in through your nose. Hold at the top. Out through your mouth, exhale. Breath in. Hold. Breath out. One more inhale through your nose. Hold, exhale through your mouth. And then when you're ready, seal your lips, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. Fear, feel and hear each breath. And use this first moment of stillness just to check in. Where are you at today? What do you need? to stay if you need more time to connect with your breath otherwise push up slide your block out from underneath you lower one bone at a time keep your feet planted and then grab for the outside edges of your mat as if you're gonna rip your mat into two pieces so your upper body is active from here inhale lift your hips to the sky exhale drop your hips to the earth inhale hips lift Exhale, hips drop. So a couple of bridge lifts here to warm up your lower body. Stay with your breath in through your nose, out through your nose. On your next one, stay lifted on the inhale, bridge pose. Slide your shoulder blades underneath you. Push firmly through both feet. Stack your knees right over your ankles. You'll squeeze your inner thighs together slightly. Feel your abductor muscles turn on. Four breaths. Keep pulling your hands away from one another energetically. And then lower down one bone at a time. Fall and bridge. Knock your knees together. Send your feet wide. Drop your knees right to left. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, grab for your shins. Maybe you sway a little side to side. Grab behind your thighs, start to rock and roll. We meet in boat pose. Your toes can tap to the earth. If you've got a block and you want added leg engagement, slide your block in between your thighs and then really, really squeeze. Lean backward, feel your core engage. Send your fingertips out in front of you, but plug your shoulders back in your sockets. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. Bring your right hand back in space. Maybe your fingertips tap the earth. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach your left hand back and tap. Inhale. And then with your breath, exhale to twist. Inhale to center. 
Moving at a pace that feels good. Stay leaning backwards so your core is super active and stay long through your spine rather than rounding through your upper body. And you squeeze your block a little tighter if you got it. Last one each side. And then hands to heart center. This will be most challenging or hands behind your back for a little more support. Lower down, low boat pose. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze high, but we've got 10 more. Last eight. Seven, you got it. Six. Five. Four. Last three. Two. And one. Come all the way up, set your block aside. Roll forward into a tabletop. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly. Slide your heart forward, drag your wrists back. Exhale, cat, round and curl your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And then move on your own with your breath. Add in any movement that feels good. Come to a neutral tabletop, puppy pose, curl your hands forward, drop your forehead to your mat, feel a stretch through your chest, your shoulders. Inhale back to tabletop, step back high plank, you've got a straight line from your heels out through the crown of your head. Pull your belly in, you can always tap your knees down. Now maybe this is where you stay, or widen your feet a little bit past hip bones distance. Reach your right hand forward, see how this feels. If you want to add on, really challenge your stabilization muscles, hover your left toes. Four breaths. Full round of breath. And right palm to the earth, left toes to the earth. Take a breath or two to reset. And we'll try that on the other side. Option to stay or reach your left fingertips forward. See how this feels. If you want to add on, slowly lift your right toes, pull your belly in. Find your point of focus, four breaths. Last two. And one, left palm down, right toes down. Shift your shoulders forward towards your fingers. Lower all the way down to the earth. Cobra pose, slide your hands by your low ribs. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. Inhale, lift your chest. Pull your belly up and away from the earth. Squeeze your shoulder blades and elbows together. Inhale, exhale, lower down, and then you move with your breath. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Option to hover your fingertips here, really work into the core and into your spine. Last four, three, two, and one lift, lower down, tuck your toes, inhale tabletop or reverse push up, exhale downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, exhale ragdoll, walk your toes right behind your wrists, bend your knees a lot, hang heavy, Release your head and neck, shake your head, yes, and then no, maybe sway side to side. Release any grip that you have. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, pull your core in, parallel your chest to the earth. 
exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Take two more. And then you rise to stand as you choose. Maybe stand straight up or curl up one bone at a time. Once you're there, arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, side bend to the right, reach up and over to the right, push your hips to the left. Maybe you grab your left wrist with your right hand. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the left, lift up and over to the left. Keep your heart facing forward, your chin off your chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, back bend, cactus out your arm. Pull your core and send your tailbone down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. If you're taking your push-ups, you can stick with cobra pose, lower down to the earth, or head to downward facing dog. Flowing breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to your hand. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Backward bend, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through. Inhale, look forward. Exhale to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Backward bend, exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high, bend your knee, open your hip. Inhale, kick your right leg back. Exhale, knee to right elbow, shift forward, find high plank, and then in the same breath, slide your knee over to your left elbow. Inhale, kick your right leg back. One more time, exhale, right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, kick. This time, exhale, low lunge, step through. Plant your foot in between your hands. Inhale, kneeling crescent, tap your left knee down. Draw your arms up overhead or hands to thighs to add a little pressure as you shift your hips forward and down. Send your tailbone down to the earth, tuck your hips, your pelvis towards your face. And arms come up, inhale. Exhale, back bend. It doesn't need to be huge, just enough to feel the expansion through your chest. Inhale, rise. Exhale, half split, straighten your front leg, fold over your right thigh. Keep your spine flat here. Rather than rounding to draw your forehead to your knee, can you bend your elbows, pull your chest towards your thigh? Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, low lunge. Exhale, crawl forward. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Inhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel down. Open up. Challenge your front lunge. Once you've got the depth 
in your front knee. Exhale, extended side angle, right hand down, left hand high. If it feels good, big circles. Inhale, reverse, warrior, peaceful warrior, reach up and back, find your side bend. One additional opening through your upper body, bend your top elbow, half bind, or reach your top, your left hand for your right elbow, add gentle pressure. You can also take the full bind. Focus on your side bend stretch. Release any grip you have, take a breath in. Exhale, back to extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, peaceful warrior. Exhale, low lunge, plant your hands to frame your front foot, spin your back heel to the sky. Inhale, twist, lift your right hand up. If you need more room in your hips, roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Activate through your back leg, push, push your left hamstring to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, right hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick your right leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, tuck your chin and round. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. This time, exhale, low lunge, step through. Warrior one, shorten your stance, pull your core in, lift your chest. Ground your back heel into the earth, so you may need to shorten your stance. And then chest expansion, if that feels good, cross your right thumb on top. Peel your fists away from your low back. Bend from behind your heart, then your mid back. Anytime you back bend, your core is pulling in. Release your grip, arms come up. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, pyramid pose, fold forward. Your hands can tap to the earth or to your blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, halfway lift. Standing splits on the exhale. Step on your right leg, lift your left leg high. Pull your belly in, flex or point your back toes, and then pulse through your left leg. So you're squeezing your glute muscle in. Can you challenge your balance, drop your gaze to your knee or your shin? Maybe you reach back for your calf with one hand or both. You've got a breath in. Exhale, forward fold at the top, feet together or hip bones distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sit low into your chair, rock away towards your heels, sit down and sit back. And then you pulse, drop your hips, lift your hips. Keep your knees backward towards your ankles. You wanna see the tops of your feet, you wanna see your toes. You've got a breath in. Exhale, airplane arms, hands back. Flip your palms to face the earth. Option to stay with your pulse. Send your tailbone down as you draw your belly in. Take a full round of breath. And inhale, chair pose. Sit low for four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, or straight to down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On the left side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, shift forward, left knee to left elbow, and in the same breath, slide your knee over to your right elbow. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow. Inhale, kick. This time, exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, kneeling crescent, tap your right knee down, arms come up, or hands to your front thigh. Press your front foot into the earth. Think about sliding your front heel back in space to feel your hamstring turn on. Arms come up, inhale, exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise, exhale, half split, straighten your front leg and fold. Keep your 
hips level and even slide your left hip back pull your right hip forward And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. This time you lift, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, crawl forward, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, warrior two, ground your back foot, spiral open to the right. Align your front heel with the inside arch of your back foot. Gaze over your front fingertips. Take a breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, left hand down, right hand high. Take whatever variation you did in your upper body here on the other side. Push through both feet and really make your legs in core work so you're not dumping weight into your front thigh. Full round of breath. Inhale, reverse warrior, peaceful warrior, reach up and back. If you did so on the other side, bend your top elbow, take your right hand, or reach up and over, add gentle pressure as you stretch your tricep, or go for the full bind, reach your right hand behind you. Take a breath in, exhale, extended side angle, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the earth, spin your back heel high. Inhale, twist, pull your core and stack your shoulders. Find this rotation from your mid back to upper back. You've got an inhale. Exhale, left hand down, take your time. Inhale, three legged downward facing dog, kick your left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, tuck your chin around your spine, inhale, kick. One more time, exhale, knee to note. Inhale, kick. This time, exhale, low lunge, step through. Warrior one, shorten your stance. Use your core to lift your chest. Both hip bones face forward and arms to the sky. Option for your chest expansion, interlace your hands behind you. Your left thumb is on top, open to your heart. Stamp your back heel into the earth. So your back leg is active. Think about pushing your back hamstring back in space. Release your grip, arms come up, inhale, straighten your front leg, exhale, pyramid pose and fold. If your back heel lifts, step it forward, shorten your stance. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, standing split step onto your left leg. Roll your right hip down in line with your left and then pulse through your right glute as you squeeze the glute muscles to the bone and lift your leg about an inch, drop your leg about an inch. Gaze towards your shin or your back knee. You've got a breath in. Exhale, forward fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low. Pulse, drop your hips, lift your hips. If you want to add a challenge, come high into your toes. Your range of motion might not be as wide, that's all right. Take a breath in. Exhale, airplane arms, hands back. Flip your palms down, really open through your chest as you slide your shoulder blades down and back. Squeeze your pinkies together. Breath in, breath out. Drop your heels, inhale, chair pose, sit low. You've got four. Breathing three, two. Take a breath in, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank to down dog. Maybe you add push-ups or skip this entirely.
Well, flow of breath to movement, you move at your own pace. Take breaks whenever you'd like. Right leg high, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, right knee to right elbow, and then left elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, half splits. Breath in. Hold deeper, exhale. Breath in. Hold, exhale. Breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twist. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Warrior one on the inhale. Backward bend, exhale. Inhale, rise, straighten your front leg. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Standing splits, exhale. Take a breath in. Exhale, fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow to down dog. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, left, right. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, half splits. Breath in and fold, breath out. Breath in, fold, breath out. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twist. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, kick, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, rise, straighten your front leg. Exhale, pyramid pose. Breath in. Exhale, fold. Breath in. Exhale, standing splits. You've got an inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, push up to down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time through each side. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, right, left. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, half splits. Breath in. You fold, exhale. Breath in and fold. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. 
Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twist. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, pyramid pose. You've got a breath in. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, standing splits. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arm. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, push up to downward facing dog. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left elbow, right elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, left, right. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twist. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold, exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, standing splits. You've got a breath in. Exhale, fold at the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. From your down dog, take a breath in, sigh it out, let it go, and inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lizard lunge, step your right foot to the top right edge of your mat. Option is stay lifted or tap your left knee down, and then use this as a reset, as a resting posture. You can come down to your forearms, close your eyes if that feels good, maybe take some open mouth exhales. You want the quad stretch make your way there bend your back knee option to hold or go for the bind reach back hug your heel in Release your grip if you've got it. We'll come into side plank. Your left hand is your base. If you're over the planks, the core work, you can hold here and focus on your inner hip stretch. Otherwise, ground down to your left hand. You can find high plank first or step straight into side plank. 
Supported side plank is an option with your left knee tapped to the earth. Option to lift your top leg. Stack your hips, roll your right hip forward on top of your left. Micro bend your bottom elbow. Maybe you gaze towards your top hand, challenge your balance. You've got a breath in. Exhale, high plank, four chaturanga push-ups. You can skip these entirely or tap your knees down. You lower and then lift. Lower and lift, two more. Last one, downward facing dog. Breath in, sigh it out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, lizard lunge. Step your left foot to the top left edge of your mat. Option to keep your right leg lifted or tap it down. And then find your version of this resting pose. So still stretching while you're resetting. Notice if there's any tension in your upper body, your head, your neck. If you took the quad stretch, start making your way there in the next couple breaths. Coming into side plank. Your right hand is your base. Option to step to high plank first or ground down through your right hand. Open up to the left. Take a similar variation on this side as you did on the other. Pull your belly in. Option to gaze towards your top hand. You've got an inhale. High plank on the exhale. Four push-ups. Or maybe you're heading straight to down dog. Lower. Pull your core in and lift. Lower. And lift two more. Your knees can always tap to the earth. Last one. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Sigh it out. One more. Inhale, fill up. Let it go. Exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Warrior one, ground your back foot, lift your chest, we've been here before. And then chest expansion, interlace your hands behind you, cross your right thumb on top, puff up your chest. And then keep your grip, straighten your front leg, find your point of focus, start to hinge forward, toppling trio, step onto your right leg, drop your chest as your back leg lifts. And you send your gaze towards your shin, challenge your balance, feel your fists, forward towards the front of the room. Two breaths. An option to keep your grip, this will be most challenging. You're gonna lift your chest to parallel. Hands can come to the earth. Exhale, Shiva squat. Bend into your right knee, tap your left knee behind your right calf. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. Pull your core in. Press through your right foot to lift up and out of your right hip. Two more. Inhale, forward fold, exhale. Bend your knees a lot, let that go, shake it out. Pada Hastasana, slide your palms underneath your feet, work your toes towards your wrists. You can keep your knees bent or straighten your legs, but pull your core in to support your low spine. If this doesn't feel good, maybe you reach back for your ankles or your calves. And then let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Figure four, hook your right ankle on top of your left thigh, sit down and back. Option for an eagle wrap with your right thigh on top of your left leg. Keep your right foot flexed. 
You'll feel the stretch through your outer right hip. Option to hinge forward, press your right forearm into your inner thigh, add gentle pressure or grab for your calf or the earth. And challenge your balance. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Lift your right knee in line with your right hip. Coming into dancer's pose, slide your right knee back in space. With your right palm open to the right, reach back, grab for the inside arch of your right foot. Tap your knees together. So your inner elbow, the elbow crease is facing the right, your elbow bone to the left. Send your left arm high, take a breath in. Exhale, dancer, start to kick. Pull your core in, you can bend your standing leg as much as you need to, and then find your point of focus. Connect to your breath, reach on the inhale, kick on the exhale, four breaths. Kick, kick, exhale, inhale, rise. Rest your hands by your sides or hands to heart center, maybe hands on your heart space, close your eyes. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Use your breath to slow it down. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank to down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one. We've been here before. Shorten your stance, ground your back foot, arms to the sky. Chest expansion, interlace your hands behind you. Your left thumb is on top. Feel your fists up and away and then straighten your front leg, hinge forward, keep your core active, toppling tree, step on your left leg, lift your right leg as your chest drops. Gaze toward your shin. It's an option to stay, coming into squats if you'd like, parallel your chest, pull your core in, maybe you keep your grip, exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. Think about sitting backward and down rather than pushing your left knee toward your toes. You can release your grip at any point. Two more. Lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. This time, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. Option to keep your knees bent or start to straighten them with your core active. If you want more, draw your elbows to the sides of the room as you pull your chest towards your thighs using the strength of your upper arms. Let your head and neck go. And release your grip. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Coming into figure four, this time your left ankle hooks on top of your right thigh. Sit down and back. Keep your left foot flexed. Maybe, maybe an eagle wrap if that feels better in your hips. Challenge your balance, slowly peel up one-legged mountain, lift your left knee in line with your left hip, coming into dancers. Draw your left knee back in space, open your left palm to the left, reach back, grab for the inside arch of your left foot. So your left thumb and big toe are on the same side. Tap your knees together, send your right arm high, inhale, exhale, dancers start to kick. Pull your belly in, find your breath, reach, inhale, kick, exhale.
four breaths. Full round of breath, inhale, kick, exhale, and inhale, slowly rise. Hands by your side, heart center or on your heart space. Slow down your breath, slow down your heart rate. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Malasana Frog Squat. Step your feet wide. Turn your toes out. Sink in between your heels. You can sit on a block. Draw your elbows to your inner thighs. Lengthen your tailbone down. Press your heart forward towards your thumbs. Maybe you stay or take cobra pose if you want the arm balance. Maybe you stay or take crow pose if you want the arm balance. Walk your knees on your upper arms, gaze forward, lift one foot and then the other. And step back, high plank, plant your hands. Option to flow through your push up. We meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon or any version of pigeon you like. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Send your left leg back. You can stay upright or lower down to the earth. Bring your forehead to your mat or your blocks. about four more breaths. Option to stay or push back, find tabletop or down dog. Take your right leg back, bend your knee, open your hip for the counter stretch. Option to flip your dog, you'll shift your shoulders forward over your wrists first. The other side as you're ready, lift your left leg, inhale. Exhale, half pigeon, maybe supine pigeon on your back if that feels better in your knee. Crawl your right leg back in space, feel your weight even through your hips. Option to lower down at any point. And only when you're ready, push into your hands, tabletop or three-legged dog. And 
your left leg back. Bend your knee, open your hip. And shift forward, high plank. Drop down to your forearms, forearm plank. Final push through the core here. You've got 30 seconds. You can tap your knees down. You can take child's pose. Maybe some hip dips, dropping your hips right to left as you find a half circle. 20 seconds. Pull your core in, pull your quad, then down to 15. Last 10, option to push up to your palm, palm, elbow, elbow, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down, sphinx pose. Walk your elbows underneath your shoulders. Pull your heart forward, slide your elbows back. And if you want a little more and the compression feels okay in your low spine, angle your palms to the top corners of your mat. Lift your elbows any amount. Drop your chest, bring your forehead to your forearms. Reset your spine, you can bend your knee. Drop your feet right to left, right to left. And slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Send your legs out long in front of you. Take a breath in, arms come up. Exhale, seated forward fold. Grab onto your feet, maybe your ankles, your calves. If you want more, you can take your block onto the soles of your feet. If you want less, bend your knees a lot. Release your grip, curl yourself up. We'll take a seated twist. Bring your left foot to your right glute. Your right foot comes up and over your left thigh. If this is too much, kick your left leg out straight. Even your weight through your hips. Bring your right hand back behind you. Send your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. You can hook your left elbow on the outside of your right thigh or wrap your forearm around. Now you don't need to crank yourself into the twist. Instead, lengthen your spine on the inhale, sit up tall. On the exhale, draw your belly in a little tighter. Inhale. Exhale, release, counter twist, other side. And then we'll switch out your legs. Bring your right heel towards your left glute. Left foot comes up and over your right thigh. Option to kick your right leg out straight if you need more space in your hips. Once you've got your solid base, bring your left fingertips behind you. Take an inhale, right arm up. Exhale, twist to the left. Sit up tall, pull your core in. Inhale, exhale, release, counter twist. Unwind your legs, lower down onto the earth. So taking a final back bend here, you can take supported bridge, how we started class. I'll cue you into bridge pose. If you have a wheel in your practice, you should be open for it. Keep your gaze on the ceiling so you're never moving your head or neck once you're in bridge. Crawl your heels in towards your glutes. Keep your knees aligned over your ankles and inhale, lift your hips to the sky. Option to slide one shoulder blade under than the other. Interlace your fingers underneath your spine. Push firmly and evenly through both feet. Lift your chin off your chest. Instead, draw your heart to your chin and then push through both feet here. 
Think about sliding your heels towards the back of your mat. Four breaths wherever you're at. Release your grip, lower down slowly, fall and bridge, knees together, feet wide, drop your knees right, and the left. Happy baby to finish your practice, hug your knees in, or offer the outside edges of your feet, maybe your ankles or your calves. Sway side to side, option to straighten one leg and the other leg. any final movement you need take that now otherwise give yourself a squeeze draw your forehead to your knees find gratitude for your body for your practice exhale release final resting pose if this ever bothers your low back give yourself some support with a block or a pillow underneath each knee once you're there take a breath in hold at the top for four Three, sip in a little more air, two, one, exhale, side out, let it go. This is where I will leave you. Stay as long as you are able and enjoy your rest.